So this guy is about to steal 94 million Kenyan shillings. He goes by the name Anthony. Anthony is a driver for a company called Well Fargo. The company deals with supply of goods and also the protection of these goods, specifically like money, like um, if you want to deliver something, you get the point, right? Yes. Now back to our driver, the driver whose full names are Anthony Ndweki Waigumo. He also has a partner who works in the same company as him, but the partner is a little bit superior to Anthony. His name is Daniel Mungai Mogeda, who is a crew commander. The two have been working for Fargo Company for a while now. They are very hardworking and, you know, law-abiding citizens. But what happened? Now, forget about the story of Daniel and Anthony for a while. Now, let's head to Quick Mart, one of the leading supermarkets in Kenya. And on this weekend, they made a sale of 94 million Kenyan shillings and, you, and decided, you know what? Let's give to Fargo wanabebanga kama kawaida and go and uh, transport it. Like, I'm imagining ilikuwa weekend, so they couldn't, like, deliver it directly to the banks. They had to keep it in the Fargo headquarters. So what happened? That Monday morning, this Anthony and Daniel woke up and decided watch at kazi. But in their mind, Nikama wali kuwana different plans. It was six in the morning, these guys clocked in the job vizuri and they loaded the truck with money or the truck was already loaded with money. And they proceeded to sneak out of that headquarters of the Fargo company with 94 million Kenyan shillings. Now the Fargo truck, apart from carrying the driver and the commander, it also carries security guys. Now these guys were waiting for Anthony and Daniel to finish whatever they were doing so that they can escort the money to the bank. Now the security guys were waiting for Anthony and Daniel, not knowing that these guys were meshapiga konea kiseria na wakiondokea. Oh, I'm, I'm kidding. Like, I could work in Syria and I South Sea. Yeah, so I could shop in corner South Sea. Security guys were in Goja, were in Goja, were in Goja until they decided, you know what? Let's go and check why these guys are not calling for us to come and, you know, transport their whatever. Voila, the guys were missing with the 94 million Kenyan shillings. Nobody knows what Kwapi like currently, and that is when. The security guys decided to contact the authorities and inform them. The, the, the authorities then called out for an, for an APB for the suspects. Now over to Daniel and Anthony. The two decided, you know what? He got it to Kendelea now. Lazima kuna masubaru wata tufuata. And, you know, and they were right because APB were already out. And witnesses are saying that the guys went on kwa, kwa like a... Uh, and then they ended up ditching that vehicle. So what did the guys do? Well, he ditched that vehicle and ended up transferring the money to a different vehicle. And the witnesses are saying that Kulikwana, a different that guy, that Ali helped the guys with loading the money. Kwa Ayoka, it was it? I think it was a sedan or something. Now, even though these two suspects, together with the one unknown suspect, Wali end up could disappear with 94 million Kenyan shillings. Now netizens have reacted to these, you know, these guys stealing those those 94 million, and some of them are wishing that this guys was a shikwe. Hey, you guys, simuna penda villains. You know, villains kama kawaida kila mtu anapenda ka villains. But hey, this is real life, but it's your movie. <laughs> Crime doesn't pay, and if it pays, it never lasts. Until next time, guys. Peace out.